Hey guys, welcome back to Suitcase Princess. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who loves to take the kids and get out. Today, we are headed to the uh, Johnson Space. Two Space Center Houston. Um, we are hoping to hit this right at the right time. Today is like the last full day of school for public school kids. So, or like partial day, I guess. So I'm hoping there's not too many field trips, but there's definitely an event going on out front. They're setting up a tent. Looks like a huge deal. So who knows? Um, but we love this. We're members. It's accessible. Take your baby out. We're just going to carry our baby. So you have to carry this little backpack, okay? Um, we brought our American Girl doll who's space themed. We're wearing our space themed outfits. We are ready. Um, guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can follow along on our fun travels over on Instagram at Suitcase Princess. But other than that, we're just going to show you the highlights of the Space Center Houston to hopefully encourage you to bring the babes and get out and do a little, little science STEM learning. You can choose one thing to take. One thing. Okay guys, so we skipped some massive groups so you can be of our membership so we already have our ticket. So if you do already have your ticket ahead of time. Uh, let's go outside first. Then we just kind of bail to the right and go through the line. Member line. Already have ticket line. Um, that helps you to go um, just quickly through the line. And then they do have an app which is everything that you need. Plus, it gets you in line for their tram tours, and the waits can be really long. So we're already signed up for that. He lost his other glove. Yeah, those are the patch designs for the different missions. Oh. Okay, one of my favorite favorite spots is the Lunar Samples Vault. It's not always open. Um, and you can see that they really do protect the things in the vault, which is pretty sad. Look at the door. Look at the door. It's legit. Which is a big deal. I mean, we get some massive flooding here in Houston. But you can come in, check it out. Okay, right here. You have to stick your fingers in a certain way, remember? You gotta reach under to touch it. Oh, there you go. Fun. Yeah, look at this. Lunar soil. Okay, so this is where you can actually go through a mock shuttle that is mounted on the plane that would, was used to ferry the shuttles around. Yes! Ooh, it's nice and quiet out here. <sighs> Look at this nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good with mommy. Look at this gorgeousness. We're need pictures. This is the good spot. It's chill. Oh, you can see there's stickers on the side of the plane to mark the mentions that it flew. Okay, we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. Say hi. Where's Luciana? She's ready. She has her lab coat on. Cool. Here we go. Yeah, good. You guys want to take a picture? Still, you do? Close. Okay, can we take a picture before anybody comes though? That'll be easiest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flight deck. Okay. Sure. Are you ready? Marilyn, you can mask down. Cheese. Super awesome. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Okay, so you can see in Look at those mega massive satellite motor cradle. Mommy, it's yeah, mega you want to go down and check them out? Yeah. Let's go. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Did I get right in your way? There's the airlock. There's a sleeping bag. Mommy. Yeah. Personal lockers. And the potty. 
Yes, airlock. Let's see. Gyro stabilized binoculars to deserve, observe a site of opportunity. Cool. All right. Okay, so you can see how it's braced on top of the uh, assist plane here. Okay, so here's the mission. I know what that says. It says Phantom Ray. Yes, it does. Okay, so this is one of my favorite parts because they took, nope, this way, friend, to the right. Just a plane, just a plane, a 747. Oh, mommy, mommy. And they modified it to what they needed. And I love it. So you can see these sort of structures. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They left a couple of the seats. They also had to get, you know, get scrappy and make it suit their style. So they had to put weights in the front to help keep the plane stable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll mask. So original seat with a fancy table. It's the stairs up to the second floor, which we can't go into. But I love that it shows you all the mechanics of how they made it work. Just love it. And then you can see the extra special bulkheads up top. So here you can really see the support needed in the plane. The orange glow over here. Yep, that helps it support the weight and not crush the fuselage of the plane. And over here, you can feel the heat that the panels need to withstand on the space shuttle. Boom! That's fun! What's next? So cool. Extra bracing. And then they had to make sure it would actually fly. Oh, here comes the wind. Oh, it was coming. Ah, wind. How fun is that? Okay, I really love this display because it basically shows you what they have to do to actually get the shuttle aligned on the plane and the three different kind of orientations that you need to make it happen. So it's back and forth, up and down. It's so cool. And then the plane back and forth. So I think this is just an amazing way to really highlight the way that this works. Okay. There's a super fun cutout in the floor where you can see down to where the cargo deck is. Can you see? Sorry. The underwing here. Okay. All right, so it's almost time for our tour. There's two tours available. One is the blue tour, which takes you to the astronaut training facility in Rocket and one Park. Is the white tour. One is the white tour, which takes you to the recently rehabbed Mission Control, and I think also to Rocket Park. I'll keep you posted. But right now, yes, you have, Goofy Girl. Right now, we're headed over right in the corner, the absolute farthest corner. They have a uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. So we are going to go check that out because we're already on this side. And then it should be time for our tour. And our tour actually takes you, there's actually a, a wildlife preserve here on the property and they partner in partnership with Houston Zoo to study prairie atwater chickens and longhorn conservation projects. So it's really fun because you actually get like a great mix of Texas. There's oil, there's space, and there's longhorns. Okay, so from way out here, you can see the building housing the Saturn, Saturn V which it used to just be out on the side of the street. I actually used to live in this area as a kid growing up and you just drive past and see a giant rocket. Um, mission control all over there. So the tram actually takes you underneath this street right here. You go past the barn with the longhorns and then out into actual Johnson Space Center. And there's Rocket Park. They've got the rocket and several other rockets out front. And then we're coming up the back here. This is actually much closer to the entrance uh, to, this sad, uh, to the Falcon 9. Do you know why it's called the Nine? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody? Why is it called Falcon 9, Amelia? Got nine thrusters! Hell, I want to say that. So you, have, you got it right though. You pointed. It's a little less impressive out here without all the Christmas decorations, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my eyes hurt. 
It's so pretty, but you can see it's actual used space which is pretty cool. why is it called Belting? Cool. That I don't know. We could look it up. Maybe. There's SpaceX. That's the brand. I would have said Yeah. Mm -hmm. Launching with new technology. Falcon 9's first stage is equipped with hypersonic grid fins right in the front. You can see those up there. You see the grid fins right up the front. And it allows it to land so they can be reused, which is a big deal. It's not all just garbage after. So that's a really big deal. Really, really big deal. They do have restrooms out here. There's a snack cart that's not open and then they have the arm, the limb, that takes you from the structure to the space shuttle. But we'll go check that out in a minute. The first space station, or America's first space station, I guess. Okay, we always love this one because it's got animatronics. Anima it's like Disney. Right? I will give me one second. Sure. Okay. Okay, this is fun because it's got all the compartments that go on this piece that spins. Isn't that fun? He's in the shower. There's also red tours, I think, when it's very busy. So they do red, white, and blue. It's their colors. And also very patriotic. You're good. You don't need to move. <gasps> Look and see if you see any alligators. One time we saw an alligator. Son and himself. Of England. She came to visit. Give us a million ride. The kids decided they do not want to eat lunch here. Oh, cool. So we are going to do a couple more things. We are going to do the little kind of hands-on kids play area, and then we're going to do the gift shop, and then we're going to go grab Chick-fil-A. Okay, this area is super fun. They have like little games where you can do controls. There's one right here, Marilyn. Okay. You can test trying to dock. You can see what you weigh on different planets. All kinds of fun things here. And then there's a few more things upstairs in this one little area. Everything. Okay, so right here you used to be able to climb in there and then kind of lay on your back, get in the seat like an astronaut. They closed it up after COVID. And there's a big open center plaza. All this stuff. Oh yeah, it, it is. That's okay. And we're going to gift shop. Okay, they have the tent set up for summer. Summer, summer, summer. Okay, guys, so we just wrapped up lunch at the always amazing Chick-fil-A. Um, we are all done with our day at Space Center Houston. We had a great time. It has been a little while since we've been, and I, we have not seen the remodeled mission control. So I'm really glad that we got to see that today. We had great fun. Of course, we'll be back this summer. We love being able to pop over. We are members. I'm not sure what a one-day ticket is, but I think our membership was about 150. Um, so I feel like that was worth it. I can insert the actual numbers right here. But anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed coming along today while we share our corner of Texas and beyond. As always, uh, please, please, please show your support. Scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Anything you guys want to say? Space well, Center is awesome. Space Center is awesome. What about you? Did you have fun today? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay.